Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on uh, BCP, Bulk Copy Program Utility. So there are three ways to load the data from sources to SQL table. SQL tables to uh, flat file or, or, and other sources. So one way it is the important wizard. I already um, made two separate videos on this, how to import the data to SQL Server and how to export the data and uh, by using the export wizard. And second one is, by using the SSIS package also, we need to create one data pipeline while loading the data from platform sources to SQL tables. In the same way, in the similar way, when we want to extract the data from tables to the destination platform sources, SSIS package is very efficiently work. And uh, third one is bulk copy program. By this also, we can load the data into the tables and as well as we can extract the data from the tables to the destination file source. So, <coughs> there is one more program, bulk insert. By using bulk insert command, we use it to load the data in, in, into the database tables from the source. So, passing bulk insert and giving the table into the, the, the scenario bulk insert into the table name suppose it is employee table name and with with this keyword um, in the, you have to pass the destination um, you have to pass the source of the file where is the location of the file uh, the files some uh, uh, test.txt uh, this is how you, uh, you need to mention at the time of the bulk insert command and afterwards uh, row, de uh, row delimiter and everyone row de uh, delimiter and delim comma um, field delimiter and uh, everyone alternate is comma but the, uh, uh, this is about the bulk in insert uh, command to load the data into the SQL now we are discussing about the bulk copy program it so in all three scenarios and as well as in bulk insert command sql server on top of sql server management studio we need to operate everything to export or import the data and vice versa but whereas while while it coming to bulk in bulk program utility bulk copy program utility it will copy the rows bulk rows into the sql server using the command prompt not in the sql sql server management studio by using command prompt we can do this operation clicking the window and turn i am selecting the command command prompt here so this is the command prompt but by using this we can export the data into the tables and as well as we can extract the data from the table to the destination server. So here I am showing one table here, cricket table. Cricket is my database and the cricket table name also it's a cricket. It contains four records, four players of data is there in the cricket. I now by using the command line prompt, I wrote the command and extract the data from these sources to, to this destination. Uh, there is a D files cricket there is no term by creating the document the document the the ladder the data was loaded to the uh, to this um, path by using the command prompt so this is the command prompt i used to uh, enter the command line how it works now you have to mention bcp first bcp you have to mention the database name that um, my database name is here cricket Afterwards, you will mention the database name cricket. Cricket is made in database name, and afterwards, the DB uh, enter the object the database object DBO, and and immediately you have to enter the table name also. That, that is also cricket. cricket. This is the uh, you have to pass your parameters first database name, and you, you first you need to give the BBCP keyword afterwards database name followed by database uh, db word followed by table and here out and in parameters is there we, we are here using the out out means from uh, sql server to destination table out and you need to pass the uh, uh, path of your source path of your destination d files cricket d file slash this is the path you need to give the file name 
read itself. My file name is PCP out PCP dot txt PCP out dot txt. So uh, I give the out parameter. Out indicates the and extract the data from the SQL server to the outside destination text files. For that, uh, I am I am providing the path. And afterwards, we need to provide two arguments here. Well, one is t. T is nothing but it is the it is the argument to link the data to the uh, SQL server. T hyphen hyphen c small c. So small c is, is a, it is stored the all all your data in character type. So by default, when you click this one, the data will be stored in the respective folder in the form of tab limit. So if you run this data, four rows are copied. Four rows copied. Total time is 400 some rows per second. Net network these number of bytes that are stored in the text file. So we will go to the path. earlier in folder. There is the empty folder. Now the path will created with the file name that are given in the command prompt. By using this command prompt, all this data will loaded. By this way, you, you need to uh, extract the data from SQL servers to destination file. This is one way. And one more thing here is here. Automatically, when there is out, there is a in operator should be also there. By using in before using the in, in operator, I am truncating this table. So currently there is no data in the table. What I am doing here now, I want to open the, uh, the uh, destination file. I am including one more record. Save the file. Now I want to load uh, this data into the SQL server. In earlier command, when we used the out operator, it's nothing but taking the data from the SQL tables to the copy the data from SQL server table to destination text document now in the same way uh, i am using the same command you know how to extract the command uh, just by just by clicking the upper arrow you, you need to get the previous command in the command prompt i remove the out i, I uh, remove the out and pass the in then nothing changes just I remove the out and keep it as keep as it is the database and uh, table name and also Path name. If you run the path again, <coughs> enter. The five rows are copied. Earlier, at the time of out operation, it's four rows are copied. Now it's five rows are copied. Go to your SQL Server Management Studio. Check the data. We already truncated the data. Now, if you run the execute the query, execute the query. See here, five rows are included. Earlier, it is four rows. Now, I I made a change in. Uh, text document and uh, including that row also fifth row also it's loaded into the table this is how you, you need to pass the um, you need to use the bulk copy program utility at the time of the loading of the tables uh, into the sql server and uh, extract the data from sql server to other destination thanks for watching the video thank you very much